You're loading into a car shop lobby and don't know how to play. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything you need to know before you load in. I know for a fact your setup looks something like this, so that gives me some time. You saw that the heist that stealth is an option in his description, so you brought a bazooka and are now pissed that you failed the heist. Bane has lied to you. This is a stealth only heist, so bring stealth shit. You need a suppressor alongside body bags and ECMs. If you can't bring both, bring ECMs. They knock out all electronics for a short while to get yourself out of a pickle. But do not click ECM feedback. The ECMs work the moment you place them down. If you tend to go on murderous rampages often, get the sixth sense skill so you can buy body bags. Don't worry about dumpsters. There's two spawns for you, aka the van, that doesn't really matter because you can go to the left side of the store anyway. I understand there's multiple entrances, but I can't be asked showing them to you. Look for this box, open it and hack it. Go around the corner, if the guards see you, crouch behind the bushes. The stairs are over there. But I'm a kind of losing guard over there, I don't want to waste the pager. Fuck you, you have four of them. Kill the son of a bitch and answer the pager. Bro, I'll tell you what, you fat- You can dispose of the body anywhere on the roof or in the stairway, but keep in mind, guards can use the stairway, so hide the body here. Your objective is to now find the manager, black suit and aged Johnny Sins looking motherfucker. He has seven spawns and you have eyes on six of them. The printer room, the couples counselor, the meeting room, the lounge, the office, and the other office. If you can't see him, then see with your ears. Sir, ma'am, could you keep your voices down please? You're disrupting the calm ambience. The last spawn is when he's roaming. If he's roaming, you're fucked. Restart. Or you can install a mod that makes him spawn the same place every time. But my brother in Christ, learn to have... Fun. To get inside, lockpick these ceiling tiles. Keep in mind, guards can spot you when you do this. You found the manager? Good for you. You can either yell at him to throw it down or send him to the forever box. Either or works. But do not shoot the glass. I repeat, do not shoot the glass. Sibs and guards will spot that shit and get mad, so be careful. Or you break the glass and alarms go off. Upon your method of setting the manager to sleep, he drops a keycard. Use it over here on this card reader. Don't get spotted on the way. Now inside is a whiteboard with a name on it. If you're playing with friends, which I highly doubt, you put that name to chat and look for the computer with that name. If you weren't the one who had the keycard, wait for the person in that room to tell you a name. And for the love of God, do not activate your monkey brain urges and interact with the computer closest to you. You will get kicked. There are name tags beside every computer. Look for the name that was put in chat. You don't see the computer? Shit, okay, uh, go downstairs over here and shoot the doorknob to open it faster. You can only do this to doors that look like this, except the manager's office, for some reason. Anyway, look if the computer is down there. You still don't see it? Damn, okay. Normally I'd restart here, but the last spot for the computer is in the other office. It's very hard to get to without getting spotted, but you might as well risk it for the biscuit. You got it? Congrats, start the hack and sit your ass down. Also, you cannot use ECM jammers now as they stop the hack. So hunker down and send someone to go get C4. They're sending you? Shit, uh, okay, no problem. C4 is at your van, aka one of these two spots. Get over there unspotted and wait until the hack is done. The doors will swing open and you can get the C4. You will now plant the C4 over here. At this stage, you can use ECM jammers and go wild. Just don't break the glass. It is a big no no. Once all C4 is placed, get inside and get the car keys. They're in one of these two spots. Knowing payday players, they will not wait for you and get the fuck out of there as soon as they can. Open the key box and grab the keys from inside. Go up to your car of choice and unlock the left side of the car and get into the left side of the car to drive. Shift makes you look backward to show you how well or how poorly you are doing in the race. Now these cars have little to no traction whatsoever, so expect some drift when doing basically any turn. But overall, the driving sequence is a straight-ish line. Once you get to the end, park your car in one of these containers and get out to your van. And boom, you are now ready for when you load in. I have complete and total lack of faith that you will succeed.